What's up people, um, I'm back with another really quick tutorial. Today's tutorial is about gradient maps and how to use them. Um, it's a really quick effect to use, so it's, it's probably going to be a quick tutorial. Um, but they are a really effective effect to use. They just add something a little different to an image that you don't normally see. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into it and open up Photoshop. As you can see, I've already got my picture opened up. I just found this on the internet. Um, it's actually painted. It's not a picture. So yeah, I found it really cool. Um, so this is the image I'm going to be working from. The first thing you're going to want to do once you've opened up your image is make sure that you have your adjustments and layers windows open. So if you hit this little window button up here and just make sure adjustments and layers are ticked um, and you'll have these two boxes here. So with our background layer selected, if we head to this little gradient icon here, click on that and just head down to gradient map. Um, that will create our gradient map. Depending on what one you've got opened, um, it will add a gradient to it. It's normally pink and white, but yeah. So if you hit this little drop-down arrow, you have a list of gradients that you can work from. I normally work from violet and orange, um, this one here, because it, it just adds the coolest effect, and you know it's my personal favourite. But you, you know, play around with it, pick whatever one you want. But I'm just, yeah, I'm going to work with violet and orange. So once you've picked that, it will kind of coat the whole image. Um, I don't know why that keeps popping up. Yeah, it'll kind of coat the whole image, but we don't want that. So if you head to your gradient map layer, hit the drop down arrow on your blending modes, and just go to soft light. That'll then blend it with the background. And as you can see, it adds like a really cool effect. Maybe too much of the effect. Um, so I'm going to drop the opacity a bit. I'm probably going to drop it to like 75%. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it adds this kind of sunset -y effect. Um, that's the before, and this is the after. I really I really like it with the gradient map on. It just kind of adds something different to images that you don't normally see. Again, gradients map gradient maps work with almost every image because um, there are so many selections you can pick from depending on the image. Um, so yeah, that was it. That's gradient maps. I hope this helped. Um, as I said, they're really easy to use, really effective effect. And um, yeah, so if you got any tutorial um, tutorial requests, just let me know and I will try get onto them. Peace.